My, 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 Gemini, it is I, Scorpion Reds, Tarot, it is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera. I am back at it again, one time for the one time for the 2020, to see what is going on with you guys for January 2020, show me the money season, yes, and <laughs> yes, God, alright, so, I hope you guys miss me because I sure enough missed you, Gemini. I already know y'all are turning up and turning out in 2020. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Thank you guys so much for like, sharing, and subscribing. Shout out to all my OGs. Everybody that was in the takeover season. What up, what up, what up? We here to do major things in the 2020. Um, If you guys want to book a reading with me, go ahead and click that um, About tab on my YouTube page. And you'll see my booking page. And you'll see my Instagram link and all of my links that you can connect with me me if you want to support the page um always um click the like button and subscribe um that's the first way of supporting if you feel moved to do something more you can always donate through the amazon wish list um we have the archetypes deck and the in between tarot decks today because you guys um send these wonderful wonderful decks through the amazon wish list so i thank you so much for everyone who supported and y'all sent me this for my birthday like i almost cried because i got this like when it literally first dropped like thank you so much you guys send so much and show so much love to me i really appreciate you guys so much so if you want a book make sure that you um Send me a message on Instagram. Make sure that you connect with me on Instagram. Or if you have any questions, you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I only do video um, reading. So if you don't have an Instagram, we can do the video um, chat through Google Hangouts, which you just use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So first you book through my booking page or just send me a message on Instagram and we'll just take care of everything. Okay, so. Um, thank you guys again for all of the support. Let's say a quick prayer over the reading. Let's get into this energy, okay? Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign in Gemini. Father God, we've been through so much and we've been so patient and we've been just so faithful to this journey and to this progress and getting us to our destination. And we're here and we're clear and we are steering this wheel in 2020. Show me the money season. Listen, we are not dealing with nothing or nobody that is not deserving of our energy and the blessing of our light father god please give us guidance in january 2020 please give us guidance for today and every day and thank you so much for all of the wisdom and the blessings and the lessons that you have helped us through in um the past and the present where we currently stand and thank you so much for all the blessings coming in the future father god please give us all the guidance and all the energy that we need to succeed in 2020 2020 show me the money and milk and honey season for a reason father god we claim it all right let's get it amen so let's get it get up okay okay we just flipping on out like that we just flipping on out like that all right we got the gym we got the gym you guys we got the seed we got the village and then we got what is this Althea I think this is how you say it Mm-hmm, Althea. I think this means... This means, like, truth and loyalty or something like that. I believe, but that's what I'm getting from that. It's like... Dark versus light. Night versus day. Truth versus lies. Honor versus dishonor. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what that means to me. But let's see for sure exactly what that means. Let's see for sure exactly what that means real quick, you guys. It means truth. It says, Our soul recognizes the truth when someone speaks it. A cool wave of relief washes over the room and all of the facts and figures in the world fall by the wayside. Such is the power of Althea. It is the undeniable resonance that goes beyond the rationale. We can also recognize Althea by its 
contagiousness. When we hear someone speak the truth, we see the truth within ourselves and are more likely to tell our own story. The Althea card requires us to step towards and act the truth. This might look like a conversation, a gesture, a poetic act, or ritual that honors the unveiling of what's been concealed. Reclaiming your own truth is a way to reclaim your vital energy, health, and sense of belonging in the world. Truth has its own wings. Set it free. Ooh. Yikes. That was deep. That was deep. That was deep. So, this is what I'm getting with this energy right here. I feel like there's something that might be hitting the village here. Um, it looks like there's a king or someone that might have sat down a crown. It looks like someone is sitting down a crown or ever trying to pick up a crown. Either or, it's not on the head. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like there needs to be someone in charge and in control of this village. Because you have the seed. This represents children. This represents the growth of something. So if you're not expecting or if you did not just give birth to a seed or you have seeds to take care of, you know, this village, the seeds, um... I feel like this has to do with a home environment and children, the seeds that have been planted in this village, the intentions that were set to grow here. This crown isn't on the head of the intended person that is meant to guide and lead this village. and. There's still gems left there. You understand what I'm saying? There's, there, there, there's gems. There's a gem there. There's something precious there. There, there. There's something. There's a gem. There's a seed. There's a. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like there's a. A child. That is a gem. That is a gifted. I feel like there's a gifted child. In this village. There's. Some truth that needs to come out about this child, about this seed, about this gem. There's something that needs to come out. There's something that needs to be said. There's some truth that needs to be spoken. It's like there's no in between. Either there, there's a truth or a lie. There's light or there's darkness. There's death. Or there's birth. You understand? Like there's no in between. Like you can't hide. You can't hide between the lie. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it can't. It's going to resurface. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever it is. Whatever seeds you planted is going to grow. Do you understand what I'm saying? So. It's about how you took care of your village. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, there's a gem there. There's something precious there to be had. But it's like, what type of seeds did you plant there? Do you understand? Was it based off of honor? Was it based off of integrity? Was it based off of truth? Or was it based off of some type of lie? You understand? And I feel like there is something. There's some type of secret. There's something that needs to come out about what was going on in the seeds that were planted in this village that has to do with a gem. You know what I mean? And I feel like a gem has to do with a child or a precious investment or, you know, I feel like it has to do with taking care of the gem. The seed, I'm sorry, I feel like it has something to do with children. The five of coins in the reverse. The knight of coins. So we got the five of coins in the reverse. So it looks like um, whatever hardships that you were experiencing is over. Like um, the sun has come out. Like there's no more rainy days. I feel like whatever type of um, 
emotional sickness I just heard whatever type of emotional sickness that you were experiencing I feel like those days are over I feel like you realize just how precious everything that you have is and it's like you want to create more and that's why you're trying to plant seeds and it's like you want to you want you, okay with this knight of uh pinnacles right here it has something to do with a childbirth. This has something to do with the child with a childbirth. It's like you want to be successful. You want to do the best thing for your child. You know what I'm saying? Um You have to realize how precious what you had was. What is this? The ace of coins, the time. Now is the time. You know what I'm saying? It's this is it's, it's Time for a new beginning and change and focus on growth, like planning the right environment around your seed because you realize it's a precious gem. I feel like maybe someone sat down their crown. Um, someone is, I'm serious, the fool in the reverse. I feel like someone. So this is the fool in the upright. You see how this person jumped off the cliff and they're flying. And they're trusting their intuition and nature and spirit to lead them their way. You understand what I'm saying? And someone leaving, someone going and moving on faith. Um, I feel like in regards to this. Okay, so the gem. You got the five of coins, right? This is you realizing how precious your worth is, how precious everything that you have. You went through some level of hardship and you blossom into something greater than and you experience something greater than you ever have. Like you have a new sense of purpose. You're focusing on planting good seeds. You're focusing on your children, the birth of a child or Taking care of your seed after you just had a birth of your child and creating a good environment. The Ace of Coins, the village. You just want a new beginning. You understand a brand new start. Something that's going to be long lasting. Something that's going to be stable. That's what you want in this village. You understand? You want a new beginning. It's it's like it just hit someone. Like now is the time that I finally create a stable environment for my family. I'm tired of going through ups and downs of lives and, 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 and life throwing me lemons you understand this is the fool in the reverse though so to some standpoint with this truth there's something that needs to be spoken and something that needs to be exposed there's something that needs to be said and I feel like this person knows like they're not a fool it's like I don't feel like they're gonna tell <laughs> whatever this is what is this this five of wands it's going to cause conflict it's going to cause confusion it's going to cause um combativeness do you understand i feel like you guys your backs are against each other right now um as you can see the five of wands going into the six of wands the six of wands Represents what? Uh, success and recognition, right? So, I feel like... It's like y'all not even looking at each other, though. It's like y'all not even looking at each other. And look at all of the characters behind you. You don't understand what I'm saying? It's just like... Look at all of these people looking at you. It looks like all these demons and these bad energy. It's like a lot of bad energy focused on these two people it's like yeah you got crowned and i feel like it was like two people that ended up together for all the wrong reasons and it was like so much negative energy and like devilish i mean look at the look y'all look at the people Look at the energy of surrounding these people. So it was like, God, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. It was like, 
someone stupid, low, willing to fight, willing to go to extreme links to be crowned the winner, the victor. Because remember, the Six of Wands is someone being acknowledged the winner. The Five of Wands is someone battling, competing, competition. It's like, I feel like this person did something really low. Very low in order to be honored in this role, in this position. And I feel like this person is no fool and they know not to tell it. What is this? The Queen of Swords. But look at this Queen of Swords energy. It's like, and that's the Gemini energy. It's like, look at this person's energy. Do you understand? It's like, it's aggressive. It's blunt force. It's, it's very dominant. It's very masculine. And there's a lot of children behind this person. I feel like this person has like a lot of children or something like that. Like a lot of different children. And I don't know if this person feels like she has to be masculine to protect her children. Or I don't know. But this this, this, I'm getting some real fucked up shit right here. I'm really getting, it's like, and you see that big ass egg in the back? You see that egg? It's like it's strongholding people by having children. I'm sorry, like, that's what I'm getting. Because that egg is like birth, the seed. Pregnancy. Five of Coins. It's like the Five of Coins is somewhere being a, 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 a thoughts of lack, a lack mentality, not loving their self, not honoring their self. This could be someone that maybe was trying to stronghold people by like verbal intimidation, mental intimidation, like. And, and, and I really don't typically get this with the Queen of Swords. I normally get a very smart, intelligent, honorable. But that's not what I'm getting. Ding, ding. That's not what I'm getting here. It's like, and you see that egg in the back? It's like that stone. It's like a solid, it's like a permanent, dressed up, fancied up. And all of them children in the back and this supposed to be the queen of swords but it's like this mask i'm sorry like and this five of wands leading into the six of wands and you seeing these people having their back against each other not even looking you don't see any passion you don't see any love you don't see any warmth you see bad deeds evil mean people like look at this this is this isn't good this is someone Needing to, they're concealing the truth and needing to speak a truth. And they know that they're a fool if they was to speak of this. Because, oh God, what is this? The tower, Lord Jesus. It's, it's, it's like this person, this person did something or was doing something or still doing something um and it could be to ensure the success of this village and I'm sorry it's like I'm getting one thing over here and then I'm getting cuz I knew it's something about this fucking card right here and Typically, I don't read the book because I know these cards, but for some reason, I haven't got that card yet. You know what I'm saying? And, then, and look at the energy that's coming out on this card, y'all. I feel like this is someone that 
is hiding a secret, honestly. And they're they're no fool. They know to do not expose the details of maybe it's something that they did in the past. Maybe to to gain success and recognition, they wanted to beat the competition. Maybe they might have stooped to some unnecessary lengths. Maybe they could have had a child to control and manipulate people. Maybe that's their thing. Maybe they think that they, in order to control a man by blunt forces, like you go and have children, like you got a whole bunch of different children. And it's like, I don't know why I feel like I have to say different children. Like different children. Very aggressive. Very, like, like this person acts like a man almost. Like carry herself like a man. The tower. Um, I feel like the truth is going to be exposed. Like this glass is going to be shattered. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, um, that's the forbidden tree. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Adam and Eve tree. I feel like whatever... Whatever it was, because this is the, the tower going into the star, I feel like something is being exposed. I feel like the truth is coming out and someone is walking away and, and moving towards their purpose. I feel like all of the slaves, like I feel like there was people that were being enslaved. It's like it is like some type of enslaved. It's, someone was being enslaved. Cause don't look like slaves walking away and it's glass being broken like the truth being shattered something being exposed like it, 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 it coming suddenly you know what I'm saying like the tree of temptation like that's this is the tree from Adam and Eve this is the cuz Later on in this deck, if y'all see the devil card come out, this is the... <laughs> it's like the tree is being burnt down. It's like this person can't be controlled and be tempted and be manipulated anymore. Like whoever was under this control has been released. As you can see, like the slaves are walking away. Do you understand what I'm saying? The tree of temptation, of manipulation, of mental control, of abuse, of... You know what I'm saying? Like, even, like, this control with the children or whatever the fuck that is. Do you understand? Like, God, I don't want to say that. God, I don't. I'm not going to say that because that's not going to come out my tongue. Um, someone has been released from this. Someone is being released from this. It's like a sudden exposure, a sudden burst for... Burning this tree of temptation, not being able to be victimized and exposed to this. It's like the truth come out. I know what you said. I know what you be doing. I know. I know. How you try to manipulate and use that blunt force and try to control and manipulate me. I feel like this person has done. Them like this and they have done other people like this too. It's like a. Listen, it's like a whole bunch of. You can you can look behind them and tell, you know what I'm saying, about the different children or something, bruh. It's like slaves. It's like this person has like Oh, I don't want to say this shit. Let me just keep going, bruh. And it's like I feel like this person entraps people with children. It's like this person has a whole bunch of multiple different listen, seashell protection. I feel like I feel like someone set the crown down. It's like this person is just trying to find someone to put the crown on and be because I'm not seeing much masculine energy here. Only thing I'm seeing is a lot of feminine energy. Even the Knight of Coins is like this person is having to be the breadwinner, be the Knight of Coins. I feel like this person is having to like, this person has, like, a whole bunch of children that they're having to be the masculine. They're having to be the man and the woman. Because it's, like, this person 
excuse me, it's like going around having a whole bunch of different kids by a whole bunch of different people. And it's like, I feel like this person competes and does a lot of underhanded shit to get in these commitments and these relationships. And it's like, they really need to stop being a fool and like, be more truthful and honest with their self about how they kind of get their self in these situations. And I feel like whoever the most recent victim was, like that's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling. It's like there was like some type of protection because there was a sudden like someone was able to break the spell, was able to break the hole, was you know what I'm saying? Like they're not going to be controlled. They're not going to be a victim like all these other men were. You know what I'm saying? Or all these other poor souls were. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like something that this person does finding out the truth kind of sets them free and it's like it sets the other people free because it's like I feel like someone does something to break this woman but she stopped acting like a fucking nigga you know what I'm saying and look at herself and look at her kids look at the people that she surrounds herself look at the people that she shows her honor too and stop being a fool and be truthful. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like if it if, if it wasn't for the fact that this person sat down a crown looking for a new solid beginning. That's what I'm getting because the mountain here, this mountain here is telling me that it was too many burdens. It was a lot of burdens. Do you understand in this village? It was a lot of burdens. Do you understand? And for some reason, this person put their crown down because the time was up and they realized how precious time is. And they wanted a new beginning in life. I really do feel like someone was left to take care of, raise a seed, a child by themselves. And right now, this person is, high, is focusing on money to ensure the victory because this gem, it's like they realize how precious their children now. This women's refuge. I feel like. Whatever hardships this person. I feel like this person's hardship had to do. With their worth. This women's refuge right here. I feel like. This person had to go through a lot of. Hardships. Looking for someone to come in a crown. And wear this village. In this village. I feel like this person has a village of kids and they, like looking for someone to wear the crown. And it was like they, they were devaluing themselves. They were devaluing themselves and just keep adding on and adding on to this village of children or something like that. And it's... I feel like... The protection that the most recent victim had on them... Not only protected them, but it protected this person too. Because I feel like they're not allowed to do this type of... They're not allowed to do this anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's been a clean, clearing of the table. You understand? With this gathering in the reverse. Um, I feel like someone's not allowed to feed off of someone anymore. It's like... You're not allowed to feed off of someone's energy. It's like control. It's like this person is has a hunger for control. It's control. Look. Control. You understand what I'm saying? And it's... I'm not... And the reason why I'm saying that is because... I feel like this person was doing foolish behavior... Just to control the odds. And stoop low. And, 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 and was... Doing God knows what... Just to be rewarded the victor, the successor, and the champion. Like this person was willing to battle. This person was willing to manipulate. This person was willing to use their passions to go to extreme lengths. Just to be the victor. Just to be the winner. Just to beat the odds. Even, even blunt force. Even <laughs> have a collection of kids. Look at the many souls that are being released. There's been 
whatever gathering, whatever control, whoever, whoever was under this control is like it's being broke. I feel like there's protection now. Like this person like had to stop what they're doing. I feel like this one broke the mold. I feel like this one broke the mold. I feel like this one has learned their lesson and they're learning how to value and cherish their self. It's like someone had to really learn how to love their self and self-worth and how they were going about things. Like someone has to look at the truth about how they were trying to go about shit in life is 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 what created no one wanting to pick up the crown and be in this village. But yet there's still so many seeds that are being planted but no one in the village to take care of them but you. You understand? I feel like those hard days are over. You just have to look at yourself and see how beautiful you are and cherish yourself and treat yourself like the beautiful gym that you are so that you can teach that to your children. You understand? You got to work hard and value yourself and put that value into your children, into your village. You have to change. It's time to change and for a new successful brighter day so that someone can come and pick that crown up but want to be there and stay there. But you have to look at the truth and see what it is that you're doing and stop being a fucking fool and going this route in order to maintain success and victory because it all blows up in your face at the end of the day. It all crashes down on you regardless. No matter what you do to try to control, you cannot control these people. You understand what I'm saying? Eventually, they all break from the temptation and leave. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, it's like, I feel like whoever was the recent victim was protected. And not only were they protected, but they're really helping protect whoever this person is that is trying to use this level of fucking manipulation and control. Because this person woke up because now there's no one there to manip uh, to manipulate and, and control. And this person is having to wake up. And if it wasn't for the fact that that happened, they wouldn't have woke up and found their self-worth. Things wouldn't have started to get better. Now this person is literally focusing on their children. Focusing on whatever seed. I don't know if this person is pregnant again. Or this person trying to get pregnant again? I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? What is this saying? So, this is in the reverse. The green in reverse. The green in reverse. I, I, I didn't even look at it. But I heard greed, envy, like, excess. You understand what I'm saying? So, I feel like. The reason why a lot of things was taken away from this person is to protect them from their own greed, envy, and excess of power and will. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we all have our own will, but you got to do good things with it because everything that you do create karma. Do you understand what I'm saying? And in the upright, what this means is prosperity, health, and abundance. I, that's why... This five of coins was there. You understand what I'm saying? It's in the reverse now. So that means that things are getting better. But for a long time, there was a lack. There was a lacking. Do you understand? And it has something to do with this access. You understand? This greed, this envy. You know, green eye. The green eyed monster. Someone is willing to stoop that fucking low to compete, to manipulate to betray, to you know what I'm saying? To sabotage other people in order to be successful and crown the victor of a self-created war. Do you understand what I'm saying? The green-eyed monster is like someone that sees something that someone else has that I want and I'm going to do whatever I want to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm willing to compete. I'm willing to battle. I'm willing. And it's like you had to if you loved yourself and if you treated yourself like the precious gem that you was, you, you would have never did that. And I feel like right now you have a deeper sense of value. But things had to be cleared from your table. Because you have to have a healthy mind, body, and soul in order to be that abundance. You can't search for abundance. You are that abundance. You are that prosperity. You have 
to change your eyesight, your gaze. If you got the eyesight of a green eyed monster, you're going to miss this abundance. You're not going to walk and operate with a healthy mind. You're going to operate like this. And until you see that truth, you will never be prosperous. You will never be able to, no matter how many children you have, they're all going to eventually leave. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can have a whole army of fucking children by a whole bunch of different men. It doesn't matter. Do you understand? They will all eventually break the temptation and you, you will not be able to control them. And, you know, you can't control people by children. Do you understand what I'm saying? Broken glass. Broken glass is bad luck. You got to watch what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? And you need to look. Listen, you got to watch what you're doing and how you go about shit. When you go about shit a certain way, you gonna get you gonna get exactly what you what you put out. So if you're having to be a the, instead of being a feminine woman, if you're having to be the aggressive dominant man because there's no king in the village and you are you, you gotta have a healthy mind, body, and soul. And I feel like there's been a lot of people have been removed for your protection. What is this? A dark haired woman. And then this is the four of spades. The dark haired woman. So there's a dark haired woman in this um, venture here. The four of spades means someone needs to take a rest. You need to take a break. You need to focus on your health. You need to focus on your mental stability. This is someone that I, I just heard psychotic. And please do not be offended, you guys. And I'm so sorry. I can only tell you what these cards are telling me, you guys. Please do not be offended. But it's like um, unhealthy wants and compulses. And the reason why I said psychotic is because it's like this. And you need to chill the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like you need to chill. To go like this. Like this. You willing to go that low to compete in, in, in the win. You, 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 you want to. It's not a competition. You should not have to compete. Like, like that's being a fool. The fool card in reverse is someone that doesn't have any faith. No belief system. You understand what I'm saying? Like, don't believe any any bad that happened to you. Like, you could just do anything. Like, a lack of faith. Like, you don't. And it can literally mean, like, a lack of faith as well. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel, and, these, and this is someone reading, like, some music notes. Someone needs to take a break. I feel like you need to take a break. You need to take a mental rest if you need to go. And if you feel like, I feel like there's some type of anxiety that, because there's a lot of pent up energy. There's a lot of pent up stress. Like that's, that's what this card, that's what the four of spades says, you guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like if you need to talk to someone, talk to someone, but you need to take a rest and chill out a little bit and pay more attention and practice Practice what you preach. Like, if you want a certain level of respect, you got to handle yourself with a level of respect. And you got to be honorable and tell the truth. Not only to yourself. I, I feel like you need to you need to look at your own truth. You know what I'm saying? So that you can chill and make better decisions. Do you understand what I'm saying? Spades represents decisions as well. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that you can fine tune your notes and the keys that you're playing. Pay attention to how you playing. What is this? Infilism. This is someone that is like demonstrating very childish, self sabotory like behavior. You know what I'm saying? Very childish. Um, not really thinking about what they do and how it affects other people. And their self, and just does things off of impulse and not necessarily thinking about like how it's going to affect them in the long run. That's like someone going out there having a fucking child, 
thinking that they can control and manipulate someone and then when you end up a single mother then you want to sit there and feel listen the tennis space destroy ruin uh you know like defeated you you understand what i'm saying it's like going stooping so low just to see a victory to only end up being defeated at the end and the number eight represents responsibility it's like you have to take responsibility for your own self saboteur ways and you know what i'm saying self-defeating behaviors do you understand what i'm saying like this is too many spades i don't like this i don't like this and then the enemy then you got the enemy card you got the enemy card with uh the six of clubs the six of clubs means changing your work environment do you understand what i'm saying uh, changing how you work how you operate how you move do you understand so what this is basically telling me right here with this dark haired woman with this four space telling you that you need to chill out right now you are suffering a lot of pain a lot of hurt this is someone experiencing a lot of pain a lot of hurt you could be feeling envious like the green eyed monster right now because there's no one at the table and you're not really realizing that there was some level of protecting and that God was protecting you. Maybe from your fucking self because you need to chill out and you need to recognize the truth. Like you cannot control people by having children, by verbal intimidation, by energy manipulation like you cannot do that you can't do that you understand what i'm saying and you can't do that you cannot do that god did this for your protection um focus on your children right now they are the most precious gems that you've created like you've created this village of seeds you've created this this village of children and it seems like only you were there to tend to it. I don't see no man on this table but you. I feel like this is something that you created. And give me guidance for the outcome, please. Like, you got to stop self-sabotaging yourself. Like, and I feel like this is like this is someone that really does need to receive some level of counseling and need to be face the mirror and, and, and look at their self what is this a widow yeah like you're going to end up lonely you know what i'm saying because the way that you're operating like you're being your own worst enemy it's like i feel like you put people up against each other you, it's, it's, you have to stop self-sabotaging and doing the things that you're doing to create listen the queen of spades the queen listen the queen of fucking spades the queen of spades is a widower the queen of spades is someone she could be like her family heritage could be from a foreign country or something like that you know what i'm saying like your family heritage could be like foreign like i i i a queen of spades is someone that is very manipulative that is very conniving that is willing to scrape the underbelly to get what they want I'm going to use what I got to get what I want. What's mine's is mine's. What's yours is mine's. Like, the queen of spades is not a good energy. <sighs> Country house. The two of hearts. It's like, you have to change your energy. And you have to want firm foundation with this 44 right there. You have to want that in order... The two of hearts represents love. You understand? Represents, you know, like everlasting love, like soulmate, soul counterpart. And it's like this woman keeps ending up being a widower, but she really wants love. You know, like she wants to be drifted off to this country house and have this fantasy, this fairy tale, this everlasting love. You understand? And that's all good because everyone should want that. But at the end of the day, there's a delay. Because, look, throwing rocks on the field, the ace of spades, there has to be a death. There has to be an ending 
these spades on this table for you, they have to end. Spades are not good. They're very low vibrational. This is queen of spades. It's like you create unnecessary trouble for yourself. Searching for love. And it's like. It's like. Mm. Then you got the fucking fright card. What is this? The nine of spades? It's like. God damn it, Slim. What the fuck type of energy is this, yo? It's like the two of hearts. I take the two of hearts with all of these fucking spades and shit. And what's this last fucking shit? Flatter. Exactly. I, I, I already knew that. It's like this is a, I'm sorry. This is like a promiscuous person. You understand what I'm saying? It's like you have a village of kids. So, by a village of different kids, it's like someone, a whole bunch of different fathers. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to stop. It's like some childish way, some lack way of thinking. And I think that that's what this is saying. It's like you're changing, like the time is up for that. There's a new birth of a new day. You're focusing on your children. You're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your self value with this gym and the season. You're focusing on your village. And you want new, strong, solid beginnings. You have a space of protection over you right now. That's why no one is around you because you have to change your vision in order for the prosperity, a healthy mindset, and abundance to come. You can't be that green eyed monster. You can't go after. You can't do that. It's childish. It's manipulative. It's wrong. You have to change the way you work and the way that you move. Clubs are actions. You have to change the way that you move in order to stop self-sabotaging and being your own worst enemy. You have to take a break and think about what you create for walls, what you create. You understand? The house that you live in. You understand? Like they said, the bed that you lay in. How many corners is it to a bed? Four. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a delay in true love coming into your life because you might always fall in love with two people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's something here about multiple love conquests or something like that. Do you understand? And it's like, I feel like it's like you search for love everywhere just to feel some level of love. You understand what I'm saying? And this delay here, it's like, it's like, the ace of spades represents an ending for a better beginning. So, I feel like, there's a delay in the true love coming to you, and with that country house there, like, maybe it might be back in your old country, like, you know, because I told you the widower, the, the ace, um, the ace, um, the Queen of Spades is someone from a foreign country, so, and it's just a country home. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know if you're not from here, if your family's not from here. Maybe true love for you may be in a foreign land for you. But at the end of the day, there's a delay because there's being a shedding of old ways. There's being a breakdown of old ways because it's like you had to see the truth of your own self sabotory behavior that you were your own worst enemy the queen of spades the queen of spades that you were the queen of spades and I feel like that's the most frightening thing that you have to come to grips with and recognize like your own self sabotory behavior the nine of spades represents ruin it represents ruin it represents like losing everything like destruction chaos um extreme hurt like the nine of spades can even 
it means someone experiencing like the worst that they could ever want to experience you know what I'm saying and I feel like it has to do because of like some type of flirting or being flattering or being or allowed to be flattered by like multiple people do you understand what I'm saying and then the uh, uh, the Knight of Clubs can represent like a co-worker. It's like, I don't know, I feel like you'd be doing a lot of fraternizing or something, like a work environment or something, and like get you in a lot of trouble or some shit like that. It's something you need to work on. Listen, Gemini, I'm sorry, because I know that this wasn't very good energy here. Like, this really wasn't. Like, because as soon as this came out, and it was just like the death and rebirth, the night versus day, the truth versus lie. Once I've seen that, it's like, okay, someone's in a point of duality in life. Like, they're in uh, battlegrounds within their self. They're in a crossroads. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no middle ground. There's no middle ground. Like, you got to realize how precious you are. You got to re realize how precious your seeds are and the seeds that you plant. Like, you can't just go and create a village of children thinking that someone's just going to pick up the crown and they're going to stay there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you have to, you got to face the truth. Like, you got to pay attention to what you're creating, what you're creating, the village of what you're creating. Do you understand? Like, you're a gem, you're precious, your children are precious, children are precious. I gotta go. Jim and I love you. I'm sorry that this wasn't better energy. Hopefully, we'll have better energy next time. And if this isn't re didn't resonate with you, not all the videos are going to resonate with you. I know one thing for sure, in every video that I do, I always learn a very powerful lesson from the wisdom of hearing other people's lessons. So if this was not a lesson for you, it could surely be something that you could learn from so that you can know to have that sense of value in yourself so that you don't ever have to go through any type of hardships and experience anything like this. Gemini, I love you. All right, we're going to have powerful energy in 2020. We're going to do this. Peace.